The first of the two major sections of sound that we're going to deal with is intensity. Intensity is one of those quantities that we we kind of have an intuition about it because of everyday life. We know what loud sounds are, we know what soft sounds are. But we're going to actually look at the math that we use to describe this. And mathematically, in physics, we're going to describe the, the intensity as how much energy is delivered by the wave in a certain amount of time to a certain area. Seems confusing, but it's really not that bad. It just says what's our, how much is energy is delivered per time to the area we're looking at, or how much power does a certain area receive. So if we have a wave that's being emitted, some sound source over here, and emits energy out, the amount of energy per time that goes through this area is what we're going to define as the intensity. It's kind of interesting to see that if we have a source and it's rating out in all directions, 4 pi steradians, it just means that it's going out in 360 degrees in a circle, plus up and down as well. So 4 pi steradians, it's going to go through different area depending on how far away we are. And as we increase our radius, that sphere that we go through is going to increase as well. It's going to be a 4 pi r squared in there. So this is what we call an inverse square, radi uh, square law, because as our distance increases, our intensity will drop by the square of the ratio. So the further are you away from a sound, the quieter it gets, because the energy just is distributed across, or just spreads out as it goes. This concept of how much energy goes through a certain area of time, you're going to see over and over again in physics, if you take physics 2, it's the concept of flux. So it's how much stuff, in this case, it's the power, how much power flows through a certain area. Well, related to this quantity of intensity is the unit of a decibel. We define the number of decibels that an intensity has based off of this equation. It says just take number 10 and multiply it by the log of the ratio of i over i naught. And i naught is a constant. And we're going to base that constant on the threshold of human hearing. So if we're larger than i naught, most things that we're going to deal with are, so my voice talking right now is larger than i naught, that means that our beta is going to be a number larger than zero. So here's a, a list of a couple important ones, not important ones, but some reference ones. So jet engines are at about 150 if you're nearby. Music concerts, they're at a pretty high level as well. This is um, this number is actually regulated normally by, I think, OSHA. But it says how high can the sound be for people at the concert. So if you actually go to a music concert and look at their sound uh, system, and the people record, controlling the sound, you'll actually be able to see this number up here so they know how loud the sound is, so they don't actually do anything illegal. Normal conversation is actually quite a bit lower than that, 120 down to 50 for normal conversation. And if we were to plug in I0, then this equation up here gives us a zero out. So these are all nice values to have in our mind. One thing to kind of pay attention to is that this is a log scale. So as these numbers increase, it increases in a logarithmic fashion. So it's not doubling the intensity does not mean that beta doubles as well. There's we have to deal with that log. So good luck with the intensity uh, questions that you'll see. It's normally not too bad, but it's kind of fun to calculate what the values are for how loud sound is. Actually, you can find some really cool iPhone apps that will measure this beta for you.